As Janice on Friends, Maggie Wheeler immediately won audiences over with her first appearance in 1994. With her signature nasally voice, infamous laugh, and that catchphrase, Oh. My. God. <laughs> She delivered a stand-up performance. But just what happened to the actress who portrayed Janice? While Janice's voice has been ingrained in all of our heads for years and years, it might surprise readers to know that Maggie Wheeler actually sounds nothing like the character in real life. However, much of what made her on-screen alter ego so memorable, including Janice's infamous inflection on Oh My God, came from the actress's interpretation of the writing. In 2016, she told ITV's This Morning, I, I think it was just this progression, how, how Janice evolved, how the writers created the character for me. And With her very own catchphrase under her belt, there was one more component Wheeler cooked up to make Janice complete, that infamous laugh. <laughs> Revealing that the cackle we love to hate was inspired by multiple pop culture references, including Flipper, Woody Woodpecker, and Arnold Horshack from Welcome Back, Cotter, she told BBC Radio 5 in 2016, I think Janice was some kind of conglomeration that I invented on the day. However, it actually grew out of necessity during the rehearsal process. Wheeler explained, That laugh really was an organic sort of lifesaver because Matthew Perry is so funny and I had to work with him and I knew he was going to crack me up, so I figured if Janice couldn't laugh on set and couldn't laugh in the moment, I was going to be in big trouble. And that is why that laugh exists. And just like that, one of the most iconic characters in Friends history was born. Wheeler told ITV's This Morning that she still gets recognized for her Friends character and will even do her voice if people ask. Yes, the world was nearly gifted with a Janice spin-off series. According to Wheeler's interview with Digital Spy in 2016, one of her writer friends once approached her with an idea to create a reality TV comedy show in which she would have played Janice as a therapist. The actress opened up, I'm not sure why it never happened. Those things are not in my hands, but I guess it was not meant to be. However, Wheeler's still game, admitting that if the people behind Janice ever offered her a spin-off, she'd, quote, be there in a heartbeat. In the meantime, the world must be content with envisioning where Janice is now. And Wheeler herself has some theories. Speculating about Janice's future, she told Entertainment Weekly in 2015, She's running an online business making bags and clothing, doing big business with the mob wives, and using a lot of animal prints. It's going well. Honestly, we'd tune into that spinoff series every week, especially if they managed to bring some of the gang back with it. You love me, Chandler Bing. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Maggie Wheeler began working as a professional actress more than a decade before landing her life-changing job on Friends. With over 70 on-screen credits to her name, she's continued to work steadily in Hollywood. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, her more notable gigs included a number of other recurring TV roles and film appearances. Her later work includes guest spots on shows like Will & Grace, Californication, Marin, and CSI. Okay, so you know the other thing that drives me crazy about men? You know how they take the toilet paper and then they put it up on top of the holder? What is that? In 2016, Wheeler opened up about the longevity of her career with the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, admitting, "...being a professional actress is akin to being a professional gambler. I love my acting work, but I don't have any control over how often I work. I've been on a roller coaster as an actress throughout my whole career." Despite becoming better known for her on-camera roles, the multi-talented Wheeler boasts an impressive career as a voiceover artist, having been involved in TV projects like Justice League, Archer, and the epic tales of Captain Underpants. Wheeler opened up about her roots in voice acting in 2017, telling Boomer magazine, quote, "...voiceover work is my first love." She also couldn't help but gush over getting her start with the iconic team behind Rankin and Bass Productions, with whom she'd worked on the television series Silverhawks. It was so exciting to work for them. They were such talented artists. Wheeler may be best known for affecting a grating voice on Friends, but she's actually a lifelong musician who has a killer set of pipes and a couple of albums under her belt. After attending community choir leadership training in Victoria, British Columbia, Wheeler co-founded the Golden Bridge Community Choir, a community which she claims, quote, "...aims to connect people by joining their voices in song." As for whether she'll ever connect this musical gig with her Friends roots, Wheeler jokingly told Digital Spy, We've never done a number as Janice. Maybe that would be something to think about for the future. Raise your hand if you'd pay to see that." Despite her decades-long career in the entertainment industry, there's no doubt that Maggie Wheeler has remained most closely tied with her role of Janice on Friends. While some performers may become a little jaded for being best known for just one role, this actress couldn't be more grateful to have been a part of the sitcom's legacy. People ask me a lot if I have a favorite character, and of course Janice is at the top of the list because, you know, it's Janice and there's only one Janice and you gotta love her. 
She told the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, Janice has been very good to me. The TV star, who said she, quote, had no sense of the phenomenon the series would become or what it'd mean for her acting career, added, quote, I am so glad people connected with her. While discussing the possibility of a Friends movie around the show's 20th anniversary, Wheeler told Digital Spy in 2014, Should it happen, I would be thrilled to participate. I love Janice. She's dear to my heart. It would be fun to resurrect her. You heard her, NBC. In the meantime, at least we'll always have this clip of Wheeler temporarily reprising her role during a 2015 WB Studio tour. Oh my god, I'm on the tour at Warner Brothers and I'm in Central Park. <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.